welcome to our first music class. Woo! I am very excited to get this started. I just graduated a little bit ago and I'm employed at Inspire and now I'm excited to be starting the very first music program there, which is really, really awesome. So today we're just going to kind of talk about what I think this channel might end up being and what it could be and a little bit about instruments and what we can do at home to make our own instruments. So this channel I'm thinking can be exploratory. I want you guys at home to be able to do the same stuff that I'm doing here. And I know that a lot of families and friends don't always have a bunch of instruments. I have a ton of instruments at home because I am a music teacher and my brother is a musician. So we have a lot, a lot of stuff just hanging around that I can kind of mess around with. But I know that a lot of families do not have that. And so I want this channel to be accessible for anybody that you can play with the instruments that we're having here. You can listen to them and explore that way, or we can make our own instruments together, which I have a couple things planned for that. So I am very excited to get started. So this thing in my lap, it's part of a drum kit and I kind of gave it away. It's a drum. I'm going to play a little bit for you. So when you play a drum, you want to hit the top part. So there's the bottom, which you can see is totally clear. You can see through it. And here's the top. So this would fit into like a kit and you would have a ton of different drums, but one of our drums is being changed. The head is changing. So we took this one off so I could show you guys what it looks like. So when I hit this drum, it's going to make kind of a loud noise. I'm not using sticks today. I'm just going to use my hand. Sticks would make it a lot louder and it would make it sound different. But today I'm just going to use my hand. So this is what a drum sounds like when you play it with your hand. Do you hear that? Do you hear the echo? Listen again. Kind of echoes a little bit. And that's because I'm hitting it and bringing my palm up. This creates the vibration. If I just hit straight down, it's not going to sound the same. Listen if I just hit straight down. Interesting. Listen to when my palm is raised again. Sound, hear the difference? Sounds different to me. So now I have a frisbee. Hmm. Frisbee's not typically what we think of when we think of instruments. We think of things like guitars or pianos or drums. But I have a frisbee. What do you think this frisbee could be? What instrument? It could be a lot of different instruments. That's kind of a trick question. If I had little bells hanging off of it, it could be tambourine. But I'm going to use it as a drum. So if you have a frisbee or a plate at home or a lid to a bowl or anything with a raised top just like this, you can do this too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to it with one hand and I'm going to hit it with another hand. Now I have to make sure that I'm holding onto it hard enough. Otherwise, if I hit it, I'll let go of it and that would be goofy and silly. And I don't want to throw it. I want to play it as a drum. So I'm going to hold onto it nice and tight. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to use my left hand to hit the middle of the Frisbee and we'll see what it sounds like. Here we go. interesting that's our drum so it's not gonna have that same kind of vibration sound because it doesn't have a bottom to it that would create that kind of vibration that's why it kind of sounds flat a little bit but you can play this drum with your fingertips with some sticks or some spoons I've got some spoons here to play my drum so I'm gonna put my drum on this table in front of me. 
you can't see it, but it's there, I promise. And I'm gonna hit it with some spoons. Here's what it sounds like. Oh, did you hear that? Let's do it again. So you can play your lid or whatever is your drum with some spoons if you want, or any utensil, really. I also have spoons because it's a very little known fact that spoons are actually an instrument sometimes. In a lot of folk bands, they'll use spoons. So you can play spoons a bunch of different ways. You could play them like this, touching the two scoop parts together. You could play them like this, playing the handles together. It makes kind of a clicky noise. Or you can play them how they do in folk bands, which is like this. They stick their spoons together back to back and they hit them on typically their knees, but really any part of their body. And they would come taped together so that there's a little space in between the spoons. See how I'm making that with my finger? So that when you hit them, there's kind of a release that happens. So I'm gonna go like this. Do you hear it? You hear the clickiness? And that's what spoons sound like. So you can try and do your own spoon creation. All I'm doing is holding the spoons with my hand. I don't have them taped or anything. They're just spoons. So all I'm doing is holding them just like this. So that there's a little bit of space in between. I'm just using my thumb to kind of prop the spoons away from each other. Pretty cool. So that's spoons. Another thing you can use around your house. Now I also have this interesting tool. We normally use this when we're cooking, right? This is called a whisk. And you would use this when you make scrambled eggs or maybe pancakes or cake or something. And you whisk everything together and you go super fast and you whip up all your stuff. Today, I'm gonna use it as an instrument. I'm gonna take my fingers, my thumb and my pointer and I'm going to pinch my whisk. You ready? Oh, did you hear that? Listen again. And I can pinch it wherever I want and it will make a different kind of noise. Pretty cool. I can strum it like a guitar or I can play it with a fork. And make a bunch of different noises, just like an instrument or a guitar or whatever you want to call this cool little thing. I also have something that a lot of us have on hand at home, and it's called a rubber band. Rubber bands can be used for a bunch of different things in your house, but if you pull them, not too far because you'll snap it, but if you pull it up a little bit and down and you take one of your other fingers, you can strum it like a guitar. Pretty cool. Now your pitch is going to change depending on how far you pull it. Hear the difference? Lower, higher. Pretty cool. So try and mess around with rubber band at home and see what sounds you make. And the last one that I have, I have it in a bag because it's kind of messy. But I just found a bunch of pens in my house and I put them in a jar. And then I put the jar in the Ziploc bag because I'm gonna shake it up. So I'm gonna hold on to it. And when I shake it, the markers are gonna make a noise inside the cup. You ready? Whoa. I can shake it side to side like this. Or I can shake it up and down. And they make totally different noises. 
So I want to challenge you to find some stuff in your house. It can be anything and make different noises with that thing. So whether it's a Frisbee that turns into a drum or some spoons or a fork, think about stuff that you can make that makes noise and mention them down in the comments below because I'm really curious to see what you come up with. So again, my name is Miss Dina. I'm hoping to get videos out probably once a week, maybe once every other week, depending. I'm still working full time in person at my job and doing a lot of online classes for my other um, classes at school. So I'm going to try and get around to making videos as much as possible as I can for this challenge so that you guys can really experience music in a different way and that you have something fun to do while you're at home. Make up some songs with this. Have a band with your siblings or your parents. Have fun with it. Make up some dance moves with it. So I hope to see these things soon and I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you next time. Bye!